Tonight at the divided states of America. Last week we told you about New York City where eight and a half million people reside and where the city government spends billions on means-tested welfare, disability, direct payments to people who can or won't make a living. We also told you that in New York City the vote for Hillary Clinton was 80 percent, Donald Trump 20 percent. It's the same thing in Los Angeles County, second largest area in the USA. There, Hillary Clinton defeated Donald Trump 72 percent to 23. And the welfare situation in L.A. is almost as bad as it is here in New York. First, the ethnic breakdown in Los Angeles County, 26 percent white, 48 percent Hispanic, 8 percent black, 14 percent Asian. 35 percent of those in the county are foreign born, nearly half that number not American citizens. About 11 percent of the 10 million people who live in L.A. County receive food stamps. That costs the county about two billion dollars a year. Four percent of the entire L.A. County population is on disability. Costs 3.2 billion every year. And nearly 300,000 people have their housing subsidized by the county. Joining us now from Boston, Marianne Marsh and from Washington, Katie Public. So the reason we're giving the L.A. Uh, county and New York City stats, Katie, is to show that it's almost impossible for any politician to bring the country together, as Donald Trump says he's going to do. When so many people are dependent on welfare, and the Republican Party doesn't approve of that, what say you? Well, I do think, that, and think you're right about the, the term bringing the country together is a broad overgeneralization of where we are. Um, but I do think that this brings up the fact that the Electoral College is very important. So we don't have places like California and New York putting their consequences of their own welfare states onto the rest of the country. In 2012, Mitt Romney got in a lot of trouble for saying exactly what you just did, that 47% of the country is somehow dependent on some kind of welfare, and therefore he's never going to get those votes. Democrats have an interest in keeping the welfare state going because those are the kinds of people who who vote, those, vote them back into office. So when we talk about welfare reform, when we talk about uh, work requirements for getting government benefits, taxpayer-funded benefits, Democrats aren't upset that those benefits are being taken from people. They're upset because their power is being threatened. All right. And uh, on the other side, Marianne, um, do you believe that any politician, doesn't have to be Donald Trump, can bring the country together with this stark division of philosophy? Of course you can. And the simple way to do it, and what really drove this election, is make work pay again. You know, in Los Angeles, minimum wage is $10.50, $3.25 better than the federal minimum wage. You can work 52 weeks a year full time and only make $22,000. Yet a single mother with two kids in Los Angeles can make $35,000 right. being on welfare. So, and the median average income in LA is only $42,000. So this whole election was about making sure that people could get jobs to get ahead. So you need to raise the minimum wage and create better jobs, manufacturing jobs, so people get paid All more. Right. Donald even Trump though, said he would do that, even, but he doesn't have a plan to do it. Even if there is a massive creation of jobs jobs in manufacturing, which I don't believe there will be. I'll be there'll be some, but not massive. Even if the welfare state is so intense and so ingrained in some precincts that even if you raise the minimum wage, they're going to be looking and go, you know what, maybe I'll make an extra five grand, but it's not worth it. I can do whatever I want now and get this kind of money. Well, so yeah. that's what you're facing if you're a politician, Kate. Well, and let's not forget that raising the minimum wage in places like California and New York and here in Washington, D.C. has actually cost thousands of jobs because businesses now can't afford automate. to hire they're more. And they automate, right. 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 They're but automating what, like crazy. Okay, but one, right, but that, one more that's a different the, argument for a different time. We're talking about a mindset here. That's sure. what we're talking about. I believe uh, most Americans want to work. I believe most right. Americans don't want to be on the dole. I believe that. Sure. But a significant number are faking injuries and they're on disability. We all know that. And a significant number are saying, you know what, I can add up all my entitlements and now it's 50 grand and I'm not going to go out and look for anything. And that's the truth. But you're focusing on the wrong people, Bill. Uh, there will always be people who want to game the system. But why not focus on those people who really do work hard and are trying to get ahead, yet they haven't been able to? That's this whole election. Okay. And Donald but Trump doesn't want to raise the won. minimum wage. Because and he doesn't says he's going to okay, create jobs he, so that people will get ahead. Will, that's what he says. Look at, uh, 
Okay, well, but here's the problem, Bill. Two things. One, the carrier deal doesn't look so great this week, does it, when they're using that money to automate the jobs. And two, the guy he put in to run labor wants to automate the people who give you your hamburgers on top of it all and doesn't want to raise we the minimum wage. So now you're wage. denying the very people who are trying to work hard every day. You're, way and get you're, way at, you're into the theoretical and speculation. No! We have to but see facts. Let's how many back. jobs come back and are created. But I'm telling you, the mindset here is what is going to stop the coming together of the United States. I just, I just no. want to say that Trump tapped into that by turning over 200 counties that, that Obama won in 2012. So he brought that message People in there saying, People are hopeful that there will lose, be better go paying for me, you'll jobs. Get a job. exactly. They're hopeful. But that this welfare state, deeply entrenched. Ladies, thank you. And Plenty hopeless. more ahead as the factor moves along this evening.